Hello everyone, my name is Walter Rowe. I'm a Capture One affiliate. Today I want to talk to you about migrating catalogs from one computer to another. The method I'm going to suggest that you use is to use an intermediate device such as an external hard drive or flash drive. And I want to talk about the different kinds of catalogs that you can have and how to move them. Um, Capture One allows you to store pictures inside a catalog. It's called a stored catalog. You can reference files that are stored outside of a catalog. They can live on your internal hard drive or an external hard drive, but they're outside the catalog. That's a reference catalog. And you can have a catalog that has both. You can have some images stored inside the catalog and some referenced outside the catalog. Um, so we're going to talk about how to move um, both uh, referenced in stored catalogs today. So this first uh, catalog that I have open is a stored catalog. You can see right here I'm in the library tool. I'm going to go to full screen mode. Uh, in the library tool, you can see there's 44 images here in the catalog. And you can see in the folder section of the catalog, there's, a, there's an area called in catalog and it shows all 44 pictures in the catalog. So that tells you they're stored inside the catalog. There's no references to any external disks or any disk folders here in the folder section. It's all in the catalog. Now you'll notice what I've done in the user collections area is I've created an organization for my images that allows me to um, you know kind of categorize them by location or by some event name, uh, whatever you want to do. Uh, user collections are very handy. User collections are all virtual. There's no physical copying of pictures anywhere. They're just virtual collections and ways to uh, organize your pictures in various ways. You can have a picture appear in more than one album because they're all virtual. Uh, different albums can reference the same picture. If you, if you happen to uh, have different categories for things and you want to put them in different albums because they match different categories. Could be a family event, it could be a wedding, and it could be something else and you may put them in all kinds of catalogs that reference that. Uh, keywords are probably a better use for some of that but that's that's a different topic. So okay so we have this catalog and we said it's in the catalog that we've stored all of our images and we want to move this catalog from uh, one computer to another. So the easiest way to do that for a stored catalog is to simply close the catalog. Here I have this folder called stored, which is on my desktop right here. Uh, this is the catalog that I had just opened. I'll double click it again so you can see. That is in fact the, the uh, see it says stored right here. You can tell by the name in the library tool. So that's the one I had open and I'm going to, to in order to move it so I have this external drive called Travel HD which is the one I'm going to use to move it to a different computer so all I have to do is drag and drop it and it will simply copy the fo catalog folder over you can see it's copying 900 megs of data that that confirms for you that the pictures are in fact stored inside the catalog now if I go to this external hard drive and double click that catalog it's going to open that catalog and there's the pictures and they are stored inside that catalog I'll prove to you they're stored inside that catalog because I will go into the stored folder on my internal hard drive and I'll delete it and I will empty the trash just to make sure it's completely gone I'll go back here I'll open up the catalog there they are the pictures are in fact 100 percent there they're stored in the catalog. If you have a stored catalog, that is the simplest way to move it. Uh, and if you are traveling uh, and you're going to be taking pictures and you prefer to work with catalogs versus sessions, um, while you're traveling, if you're not going to be taking too many pictures, uh, even if you are going to be taking a lot of pictures, a stored catalog might be the way to go for the purpose of your travel simply because that's the easiest way to move a catalog from one place to another is when the 
images are stored inside the catalog because you simply copy the catalog folder and all the pictures and all the catalog information and everything go with it. Um, it's very much like a session in that regard. Everything goes with it. So that's the method you would use. You copy this to an external drive. You disconnect this external drive from your source computer. You connect it to your destination computer and you simply copy the catalog onto your destination computer wherever you want it to be located on the destination computer. You can even import that catalog into another catalog. Um, one of the things to know about importing a catalog with stored pictures is that the catalog that it's imported into will copy the pictures into that catalog that you've imported into. Um, so if you want them to ultimately live outside of that catalog, you will then have to go and relocate them um, to directories that that catalog references that may be um, outside of the catalog itself. Uh, I have another video that talks about that um, that you can look for on my YouTube channel, um, but just know that that's the way that would work. So I'm going to copy this back over here to my stored folder on my internal drive. I'm going to delete it from my external drive, uh, and then we're going to look at a referenced catalog. So I'm going to delete that, empty trash. Now I'm going to open up this referenced catalog. Now you'll notice that on my desktop in this referenced folder, I have the, the, the catalog and I have adjacent to it a, a folder called My Travel Images and it has these four folders underneath it. And if I go into that catalog itself, you'll notice that there is in fact in the referenced folder a folder called My Travel Images and it has each of those same four folders in it. So this is, these are referenced, you can tell because in the catalog uh, folder section, notice that it says in catalog there's no images. There are no images stored inside the catalog. They are stored outside the catalog in a reference location on this volume called Macintosh HD in the directory path shown in this indented list of folders. And you can see that it goes to the desktop, to the folder called referenced, and inside there to the folder called my travel images. And when I bring up Finder and I go to desktop, I go to referenced, there's my travel images. That's exactly where they're stored. <clears throat> so let's say that I want to move this catalog to a different computer and these pictures are stored on the internal disk of this computer that I'm on, my source computer. I have two ways I can do that. The first way I can do that is I can go to Finder I can take the folder of images and copy it to the external hard drive. I can take the catalog, copy it to the external hard drive. I can open the catalog on the external hard drive. And I can go to the My Travel Images in the library tool, I can do locate. I can go to the external hard disk, select the folder where I, I copied them to, and reference them. And now you'll see that it's referencing the same pictures, but now it's referencing the pictures on the external hard drive called Travel HD. Once again, I can prove to you that that is in fact what's happening. I can delete that from the internal hard drive, empty there, and you'll see that even when I bring these up large screen, there's no icon indicating that they're missing. It's because they're referencing them now on the external hard drive. Now there's another way that I could do this. Um, from within Capture One, I'm going to copy this back to the internal drive. I'm going to 
going to delete them from the external drive. This is all just for illustration to show you different ways of doing this. Now I'm going to open up the catalog on the internal drive. Now you'll notice the little question mark icon. Notice these are now missing because I got rid of them from the external hard drive. So now I'm going to locate them again. I'm going to go to desktop, referenced, my travel images. Now you'll notice that it has now referenced them back on the, in, on the uh, internal hard drive. <clears throat> and all the little question mark icons are gone. Now the second way that I can move these referenced images is to add a folder on the external hard drive. And we'll call this my travel images just like it was on the internal hard drive. So now I've added this. So now you can see there's a my travel images on the Macintosh HD and there's a my travel images on the travel HD. And for simplicity's sake, I'm going to hide the folder hierarchy just so we can see them here together. So now I can actually take each of these folders one at a time and I can move them. Capture One is physically moving the directories and the files. And I'm going to show you this in a second. that they have been physically moved. So you can see there's no subfolders for the internal drive and there are folders on the external drive. And when I go into this directory on my internal drive, you can see it's under desktop referenced my travel images. There's no folders there. But when I go to the external hard drive, all the folders are there. They have been physically moved. So now I can close the catalog. I can copy the catalog to the external hard drive. And when I open it on the external hard drive, it will be referencing the images that are on the external hard drive. And once again, I can prove this by deleting them from the internal hard drive. And no question marks. Now notice that on the, the, the catalog still has a reference to the internal hard drive because I just copied it. So now I want to actually delete that reference to the internal hard drive. Now I'm only referencing the external hard drive. Now when it comes time to put these on my second computer, what I would do is close this catalog. I would disconnect this external drive from this computer. I would connect it to my destination computer. And I would <clears throat> use one of the two methods I illustrated to copy the images or move the images from the external hard drive to wherever I want them on the new computer. And then copy the catalog file over to the new computer, open the catalog file, and actually have uh, go in and, and relocate and reference the pictures where I've moved them on the new computer. Hopefully this has been a helpful demonstration for you of how to move catalogs from one system to another uh, using Capture One, either internal to Capture One using the library tool or external to Capture One using Finder. Uh, the same thing works with Windows Explorer. And then using the relocate function uh, of the library tool within Capture One. I hope you like this video. Please uh, consider using my link in the description of the video if you make purchases from Capture One. I do get a small referral fee. I'm not an employee of Capture One. I don't get paid to make these videos. Uh, but I do like to help folks. And I'm hoping that you find it useful and you'll click my link and I'll get something uh, as a small reward to encourage me to keep making these videos. Thanks much.